Hi folks and welcome to the tutorial. So let's do some Plexus DNA stuff in X particles. Uh, I saw recently I saw another tutorial somebody doing the stuff in Houdini, and so just try to replicate this as good as possible in X particles. So to get started, we need an emitter and we make it spherical and make it a bit smaller. Let's say twenty. Uh, we go to the mission tab and set it to shoot and we just need to shoot 50 particles for example you can do more of course but 50 is good just shoot for one uh, frame and just give it a try it's looking like this so and um, next up we need a second emitter and this is going to be our spawn emitter and to make the spawn emitter do something useful we need to apply um, a generate modifier, a spawn modifier so we apply our spawn emitter to the spawn, uh, our spawn emitter to the spawn modifier bring down the number, uh, no let's let's have a look how this well, let's make the spawn particles blue for a moment and give it a try so it's looking like this that's not what we want we go to our spawn emitter bring down the speed to zero play back it's looking like this and now we bring down the number of spawn particles and so in the spawn modifier you go down to spawn number and set it to 50 as well let's play it back so you have something like this so that's not too bad and let's go on and apply a modifier turbulence modifier I just use the standard noise you can do something else of course give it a playback and instantly our um, particles are influenced by the turbulence modifier that's good but we don't want our spawned uh, or spawn particles to be uh, influenced so we go to our spawn uh, emitter go to the modifiers tab and click and drag our modif uh, or turbulence modifier to the exclude tab we play it back so only the red, uh, only the red particles are influenced by the um, by the turbulence modifier. So let's tweak the settings a bit. Let's increase the strength of the turbulence to 25, and maybe bring down the frequency, and also bring down the scale to something like 50. And if you play it back, let's play it back. We have something like this. So and so, so and you can see that some of the particles are way out and some are closer to the center. And to keep it more together, uh, I'm going to apply a more um, drag modifier. This one, just place it there. And um, not sure about what these settings exactly doing, but I found out that when you use NAFTA use a sphere coefficient you play it back you have something pretty it's looking like this so the particles are just tighter together and maybe it's a bit too strong so we can bring down the force multiplier to let's try 30 well that's actually not too bad let's try 35 Hmm. That's not much of a difference, but let's try 40. Okay, so I think for the sake of this quick tutorial, this is good enough. So to create this, uh, the actual plexus structure, I'm going to apply uh, a, a trail from a trail object. And I'm going to apply my Bond particles to it. 
So just with the default settings, it's not doing anything. I have to tell the trail object to create trails from nearest by distance. And then I go to the distance mode and select max number within distance. And yeah, that's a basic um, plexus effect. So it's just generating trails between our spawn particles. So it's looking pretty interesting. And you can also, of course, tweak that a bit. Let's bring down the max distance and the max number of uh, connections. So it's a bit. So, so it's not so. You don't have so many uh, trails. And if you play it back, it's actually it's looking quite interesting, doesn't it? So now I already applied a redshift dome light to my scene and just um, start my IPR. And let's give, um, let's add a um, redshift object uh, tag to my to my trails. Set it to hair strands, bring down the size, maybe play around with the uh, the thickness or the scale of it, and give it a material. So we have something that's looking like this. And in my example, you can see that I used also or, uh, that I used um, the skin object as well. And so let's, I'm going to show you that. So I go to my redshift panel. Uh, sorry, I go to my X particles panel and select the skinner. And in the skinner, you're going to apply the uh, trail object. And in the default setting, this is pretty blobby and we have to uh, tweak it a bit. So let's go to the geometry, smooth it, give it some iterations, bring down the size to let's say 30, and also the also the radius, maybe three, and the custom radius, maybe like so. And let's try a different surface mode, like like random man, for example. Random man isn't too bad, but it has to be smaller. Yeah, why not? And maybe three. I know that's maybe like this and give it a material. Yeah, and some golden blobby with green with green plexus in between. Yeah, folks, basically that's it, and um, that's all the magic, and as always, hope it's useful for you, and have fun. See you. Bye-bye.